Test two. Listening. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. one. Which is the family's holiday house? Are you looking forward to the holidays with your family? What's your holiday house like? It's great. It's in the countryside by a river. You can stand on the little bridge and watch the water flowing. My brother's always climbing the big tree that's by the side of the house. It's a very peaceful place. You should come. Now listen again. Are you looking forward to the holidays with your family? What's your holiday house like? It's great. It's in the countryside by a river. You can stand on the little bridge and watch the water flowing. My brother's always climbing the big tree that's by the side of the house. It's a very peaceful place. You should come. Two. What sport has just become available at the sports centre? Become a member of the Good Life Sports Centre. The centre's known for its brilliant climbing wall, which is still the tallest in the region, despite already being five years old. And basketball is the latest addition to our facilities with a brand new court. We're hoping to create a team to take part in local games. So if you fancy a challenge, why not come and ask us about it? Future plans include a new badminton court, as lots of members have asked us about the sport. Join us now. Now listen again. Become a member of the Good Life Sports Centre. The centre's known for its brilliant climbing wall, which is still the tallest in the region, despite already being five years old. And basketball is the latest addition to our facilities with a brand new court. We're hoping to create a team to take part in local games. So if you fancy a challenge, why not come and ask us about it? Future plans include a new badminton court, as lots of members have asked us about the sport. Join us now. Three. Where is the man's wallet? I'm sure your wallet hasn't disappeared. You'll remember where you last had it if you think for a minute. Okay. I was watching TV this afternoon. Yes, and then before I went out, I put it in my jacket pocket. But then, in fact, I went out just in my shirt. So when I got to the bookshop and wanted to pay for the books, of course, I didn't have my wallet. So it's still where you put it before you went out. Ah. Now listen again. I'm sure your wallet hasn't disappeared. You'll remember where you last had it if you think for a minute. Okay. I was watching TV this afternoon. Yes, and then before I went out, I put it in my jacket pocket. But then, in fact, I went out just in my shirt. So when I got to the bookshop and wanted to pay for the books, of course. I didn't have my wallet. So it's still where you put it before you went out. Ah. Four. When did David's aunt leave? Has your aunt gone home again now, David? Yes, she went back the day before yesterday. The seventeenth, and she'd come on the thirteenth, hadn't she, for your birthday? She was meant to. Something happened, so she didn't get here until the fifteenth. So she only stayed two days. Yes, which was a shame. Now listen again. Has your aunt gone home again now, David? Yes, she went back the day before yesterday. The seventeenth, 
And she'd come on the 13th, hadn't she, for your birthday? She was meant to, but something happened. So she didn't get here until the 15th. So she only stayed two days? Yes, which was a shame. Five. Which photo are they talking about? I love looking at photos, don't you? Yes, it's always interesting. So, who's this in the centre? But that's my parents, when they were middle-aged, of course, with us three girls lined up on the left. So, who's the old man next to your parents? <sighs> my grandfather. And then that's my uncle on the right. Yes, I can recognise him. Now listen again. I love looking at photos, don't you? Yes, it's always interesting. So, who's this in the centre? But that's my parents, when they were middle-aged, of course, with us three girls lined up on the left. So, who's the old man next to your parents? <sighs> my grandfather. And then that's my uncle on the right. Yes, I can recognise him. Six. What will the woman take on the train journey? It's about three hours on the train. People say that's a good time to get some useful work done. You know, type up some notes or look through the presentation on a laptop. I prefer to relax, so I just bring a nice magazine and look at it when I'm not staring out of the window. My daughter takes an MP3 player for her music, but I like my own thoughts. Now listen again. It's about three hours on the train. People say that's a good time to get some useful work done. You know, type up some notes or look through the presentation on a laptop. I prefer to relax, so I just bring a nice magazine and look at it when I'm not staring out of the window. My daughter takes an MP3 player for her music, but I like my own thoughts. 7. How much will the boy pay for a ticket for the football match? I'll have to use all my pocket money to get a ticket for the football match, but it's worth it. There's a group of us going, and I know it'll be fun. Last season, you only had to pay £10, but this year it's gone up. Actually, because my dad's friends with one of the directors, I can get a discount, so that makes it £12, which is quite bad, but not as bad as the full price, which is now £14. Then there's the cost of the programme and the bus and everything. Now listen again. I'll have to use all my pocket money to get a ticket for the football match, but it's worth it. There's a group of us going, and I know it'll be fun. Last season, you only had to pay £10, but this year it's gone up. Actually, because my dad's friends with one of the directors, I can get a discount, so that makes it £12, which is quite bad, but not as bad as the full price, which is now £14. Then there's the cost of the programme and the bus and everything. That is the end of part one.